maybe. We'll see. Bleak sarcastic. Hey, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to the Chris and Dan Show. Dan's being sarcastic. Says this looks like a good one with sarcasm. So Tr- Traders are great. These guys haven't grown on me. I know I'm going to piss off a lot of fans. So we're going to try one Scorpions more Scorpions grew on me. Um, I can't remember now. It's too late in the night. But so, Scorpions. Yeah. Who else? Like Scorpions. Help uh, me out. Disturbed. Disturbed, of course. Uh, Iron Maiden. Oh, Iron Maiden, of course. Yeah, they all grew on you. Um, I think you liked Iron Maiden right away, though. Um, yeah. So yeah. I think the best example would be the Scorpions. So the thing about Judas Priest, um, the reason I picked this song is because we just reacted to Monoskin. Super young group. Yeah. So this group, super old. So this is their newest song. Uh, Rob what did Hel- Ice Cube say? No, no country for young men? Yeah. So <laughs> Rob Halford, lead singer, Judas Priest, he was, I believe, 68 when he recorded this song. Wow. So, so he's getting up there in age, right? He wouldn't still, even qualify for some of our studies. Yeah, exactly. He's over the age. So, Damn. Um, he still sounds really good for his age. And this is currently my favorite song of all songs out there right now. Um, Wait, really this is listening. new? It's like two years old. But oh, okay. I hadn't given it a shot until recently. And now I'm just listening to it all the time when I'm in my car. So. All right. Let's see. Maybe I like the new stuff better from them. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's go. Judas Priest, Traitor's not, Gate. Not a great video, but at least there's movement. So, Traitor's Gate. What is this? When, um, uh, oh shit, what's the guy? <laughs> Trudeau. When Trudeau. Uh, is this Trudeau's theme song with the, for the probably, truckers? Probably. <laughs> Traitor's probably. Gate. We're gonna lock you out of the Ottawa, guys. Yeah, he's blasting it from loudspeakers while they try and sleep. Keep on trucking. All right, sinister. Two ravens up there. That's not to be fucked with. No. Yeah, send a bird. All right, back to the basics. You guys know. <laughs> so it's, you it's already a, it's know. A fire so far. As long as his voice don't fuck it up, <laughs> his sixty-eight-year-old voice don't fuck it up. We're on to something. Is he on auto tune in this, or is it just straight no, pipes? They, they don't do auto tune in this. <laughs> Taking a risk. We can end it right now, Chris. You win money. <laughs> no, no, you gotta hear the whole thing. Your charity would win. <laughs> do it for your. Do it for the kids. No, you gotta hear the whole thing. You gotta give a fair reaction. All right, let's go. So far, very good. I don't know if it's because I'm in a good mood right now. That does play a role. All right, let's go. Yes. So this, uh, this is like hard rock. Like this is the hardest yes, this Judas is what Priest I've been song telling I've heard. You. This is what I've been telling you, Judas Priest. Yeah, but none of the other songs we heard were like this, like this. All none right. of them. Uh, got, I don't know. They got a number of songs that are like this, but yeah, uh, I've been, I've said that to you. Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, comparable. This song, yes. Wow. All right, guys. I could see why there's a fuss about this group. <laughs> Wow. 
way. I gotta see that again. Back in the day, you got in trouble for wearing a mask. Look at this. Yeah. She's getting punished. Now well, it's the opposite. Uh, that's true this day, too. You used to get punished, well, three years ago, you used to get punished to go wear a mask into a bank. Got arrested for it. Oh, that's true. Now it's welcome. <laughs> yeah, now please do. That's an interesting image. I know it's not the real video or official video, but it's an interesting uh, yeah. fan art here. That part goes hard. Yep. Goes hard. Did you know? Holy shit, that's a long song. Did you know <laughs> that? Uh, I thought it was ending. Did you know he's probably got like thirty more bars left? Yeah, but, he's taking a breather. Hey, he's taking a breather to talk about someone else to the guillotines. That's right. But, uh, did you know that ravens, uh, crows, and ravens, they have funerals. Did you know that they're very social animals? Yeah, I know they're social. I didn't know they had funerals. They have though. funerals. So when a member dies, they actually will gather around and like sing sing it's like i heard it when i lived in anaheim outside my window a crow died and it woke me up because there were so many i thought it was like in the middle of like a forest or something yeah it'd be kind of spooky yeah it was and they were like going around it and they were like it was like a whole event Hmm. and i googled it and it's that crows are one of the few birds that do funerals Interesting. Did not that's know that. That's crazy. Yeah, hey, that's crazy. You come to the Chris and Dan show, you learn something. You learn a thing or two, you little bitches. Oh, very nice. I uh, like very classy stock photo. I like this. <laughs> Somebody couldn't pay the one dollar to get the picture. Oh man, they need to subscribe to our channel. Hey, at least they made the video. I know what they're going to say. Stop pausing on the guitar solo, you ignorant. Ignoramus. I'm sorry. Yes. What is this? Uh, what are we looking at there? That's fucking Tomb Raider or something, but with a guy instead of Lara Croft. Yeah, this looks like a true. level in Tomb Raider I couldn't beat. You have to make this wheel move to make this thing... Huh. M- it's like a code. Alright. I don't know. This guy just... The song's too long even for him. He's like, fuck, the song never ends. Let's just keep getting stock photos.
video wasn't bad. Some no, they did a good job. I know, I know I made fun of them, but they did a good job. We're glad we will get to watch that instead of like a Just empty a screen. Static screen. Yeah, so yeah. Pretty good, you know? Pretty good. I'm debating between getting it or not because I want to be fair to true to myself. Sure. Because that one, if you played me that back to back with the Iron Maidens, like let's just say that song snuck in to my Iron Maiden playlist of yeah. like 80 songs, I wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I really uh, wouldn't. Bruce Dickinson goes a little higher, right? Um, I know, but I'm a newbie. Like range. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know the difference. Sure, the the aggressiveness is about the same as yeah. Iron Maiden. Yeah. But their voices are different, Rob Halford and... Um, so on that note, Brian I mean, it just, to me, sounded like Iron Maiden song. To me, that's the best Judas Priest song I've heard thus far Yeah. on this mm -hmm. channel. Yeah, maybe we should do Pain and Pleasure. I, I think that is considered their best song. Well, I can't we'll believe do, you we'll haven't do. done their best song yet. Well, by critics, that's considered their best song. It's not oh. my favorite song by them. All right. So, so maybe we'll do that sometime when i can't find something a comment or something but right. um i just you know i he still can do it at 68 which i think is very impressive personally oh, um, super impressive are you kidding and you know they uh, rock musicians typically write their own music and lyrics so and he he does so i just think it's impressive at 68 still able to do judas it judas priest um judas priest Net worth eighty million. Rob Halford. No, the band. Rob Halford is forty million as of twenty twenty two net worth. Right, right. So I was saying maybe he's like investing in some of these anti aging things because there's a three billion dollar consortium and it's basically a bunch of rich billionaires like Bezos. I mean, this guy's not on that level, but they're basically putting. It's like a hedge, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, they're they want to live if forever. If you're worth fifty billion, you put one billion into it to li live longer, because yeah. you like your you love your life at that point. So sure, you got plenty of money to spend. You don't want to outlive it. It's pretty rational. Sure. Maybe Judas Priest doing something like that to keep those pipes going. I don't know. A good song. So you like them better than you thought. Yes. Not sure you want to buy this song, but better than you thought. Well, I probably would buy it, and I probably will buy it. But the all, my only hesitation, so I'll buy it. I have a hesitation. It's an asterisk. I Sound. don't think I need this song. Because you already have Iron Maiden. Exactly. Like I said, this just sounds like any of their songs. Uh, <laughs> Throw it in. So I don't know if you ever will, but if you listen to Iron Maiden enough, you're going to eventually understand that their voices are entirely different. Which oh, it's going to take me years. <laughs> I mean, it's on my playlist, but man. Sure. sure. And it also Let's... competes with audiobooks and podcasts, too. Yeah, I understand. I'm just saying, I doubt it, like I said, I doubt it will ever happen. But if you listen to them, you know, fairly frequently for a little while. That's why I'm, that's why I'm going to buy it. That's why I'm going to buy it. Because I don't want to just assume that it's... You know, the same. Yeah. So Judas Priest, uh, Traitor's Gate, Traitor's Gate, Traitor's Gate. Here we go. Oh, their whole album's called Firepower. Yeah. Let's just get the whole album. Shit. Here. Well, well I, if I were you, I would get their best of. But sure. Nah, I just it? get their most recent album. It came out 2018. My favorite song by them is the song before Traders Gate. I can't remember what it's called. I'm not ready for their greatest hits. So I'm getting their latest album because I doubt anyone's going to recommend songs from this album. And it leaves it safe for me to react to other Judas Priest songs. Yeah, well, like I said, we'll have to do Pleasure and Pain or Pain and, Ple pain and Pleasure, I think it is. Wow. At least get to know me first. Yeah. I mean, you get to know you quite well with that song. <sighs> yeah. Well... There you go, guys. Slowly becoming a fan. So I was going to say just real quick, uh, No Surrender. Um, that was the song that I was listening to most frequently when this album came out. 
And I still probably like that more than Trader's Gates, just currently Trader's Gates my favorite song. So oh, no okay. surrenders on that album too you just purchased. Well I got the whole album and I'll give it a listen. So maybe tomorrow. It's uh got a good message, no surrender. Depends on my mood tomorrow. Alright, well hopefully you're in a good mood. I don't know. I think I need to be in like semi semi bad mood to listen to that. Really? Yeah. Bad, so this helps with the bad mood. Yeah. It yeah. lets me know that someone else is angry too. <laughs> Yeah. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. So, what sound of silence do for you? What sound of silence. Bad, uh, is that a bad mood? Good mood? What is that? You listen to that? Oh, sound of silence. That's any mood. That's a ten out of ten. Any mood. Okay. Ten so. out of tens are any mood. Okay. Ten out of tens change your mood. Sure, to match the music. Eights and nines is like, they they cosign your mood. Sure. Got it. Fair mm-hmm. analogy. And then lower than that is like just bullshit. I mean, you could get lucky, maybe. Yeah. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. So, I've like, said enough. Subscribe, comment, please. Or not, guys. Or do. Think for yourselves. Don't let this guy no, influence we can, you. We got to grow the channel. This guy is trying to influence you to subscribe. So we got to just the wants channel. more money in his coffers. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's not my coffers. It's so we have more money to give away. Ah, you're, um, what do we call Mother Teresa of YouTube, Chris no, Sopra. <laughs> ain't that either. <laughs> but if we were giving away 10000 instead of 100 or 200000 that'd be crazy. we got to buy some Bitcoin if we're going to have 10000 to throw yeah. around. The goal is to get, give half of the money we take in away. Okay. We're still paying more than we're taking in, so. We're like Robin Hood. Ain't hit that yet. We're like Robin Hood. We take from Google and give to Judas Priest fans. Yeah, be a nice little prize for somebody each uh, song. All right, guys. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, thank you for watching, everybody. Catch you all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.